Are you looking for a guard dog to protect your home and family from intruders, but can't pick between the Cane Corso and the Bull Mastiff? We feel you. Choosing between the Bull Mastiff and the Cane Corso can be quite a close call, as they share some similarities, but they're really both quite different. The Bull Mastiff is ideal for families with children or other pets, while the Cane Corso may be better suited for experienced owners with a lot of time to devote to training and exercise. So, in today's video, we'll assess both of these dogs on different factors, such as how adaptable they are, trainability, temperament, and much more. And we hope that by the end of it, you will know which one you're leaning toward. So, let's get started. Number 6. Trainability When it comes to trainability, cane corsos have the upper hand over bull mastiffs. While both dogs require considerable obedience training, cane corsos tend to be more responsive to training, making the process a tad bit easier for the owner. However, successful dog training still requires patience, persistence, and consistency. So if you find yourself struggling too much, it may be worth seeking out professional help. Before we continue, make sure to check the links in the description. We found the best deals for online dog training, dog supplies, pet insurance, and more. What are you waiting for? Number 5. Health Issues both the Bull Mastiff and the Cane Corso are prone to certain health issues, although the severity and prevalence of these problems can vary between breeds. For Bull Mastiffs, some potential health concerns include lymphosarcoma, mast cell tumors, gastric torsion, and bone issues. On the other hand, the Cane Corso was generally a healthy breed, but can still be susceptible to conditions like idiopathic epilepsy, eyelid abnormalities, demodex mange, and bloat. So, here too, by severity, the health issues of cane corsos are prone to are seemingly less severe. Number 4. Temperament The Bull Mastiff is a loyal and dependable protector that shows great affection toward its family. However, it can display same-sex aggression towards other dogs and is wary of strangers, making early socialization and supervision essential. After all, you don't want it to attack your guests, right? The Cane Corso, on the other hand, may look intimidating, but establishing a meaningful relationship with him is crucial. It can be gentle and playful with children, but needs an authoritative owner considering it might get too independent and stubborn at times. Those who lack experience in handling large breeds may find uh, training a bit challenging. All in all, both breeds have their unique temperament, but with proper training and socialization, they can be protectors and loyal companions. Number 3. Weather Tolerance and Separation Anxiety When deciding on a home protection dog, it's essential to consider how well the breed tolerates being left alone, and its tolerance for hot and cold weather. The Bull Mastiff and the Cane Corso are both excellent breeds for home protection, but their levels of separation anxiety and weather tolerance may vary. In terms of weather tolerance, the Cane Corso is better suited for hot weather than the Bull Mastiff. In colder temperatures, both breeds can tolerate the cold weather well, but it's important to pay attention to your dog's well-being when temperatures drop below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. As for separation anxiety, both these large dogs are prone to feeling like their owner has left them. This often manifests itself in your dog pacing, drooling, biting, or being destructive while you're away. But by desensitizing your dog to your absence and spending time with them when you're home, we're sure you'll come out successful on the other side. By considering these factors, you can make an informed decision about which breed is best for you and your home protection needs. Number 2. Protection Ability The Cane Corso's natural watchdog abilities make them a formidable guard dog, while Bull Mastiffs are quick to alert their owners of strangers. However, Bull Mastiffs do not need to be trained for protection, as it's inherent in their nature and training them for such could lead to aggressive behavior. Overall, the Cane Corso has the edge in guarding and protection, making them an equally tough competitor in this category. Number 1. Adaptability Bull Mastiffs and Cane Corsos are both known for their versatility and adaptability to adapt to various living situations and environments. But when it comes to apartment living adaptability, not all dogs are created equal. Factors like size, energy level, and noise level can make some dogs less suited to apartment living than others. While Bull Mastiffs and Cane Corsos are excellent home protection dogs, Bull Mastiffs have a better reputation for being adaptable to apartment living. However, it's important to remember that they both still require plenty of exercise and mental stimulation to stay happy and healthy, even in an apartment setting. With that, our video has come to an end here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pets and dog-related content. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.